Hi, happy small business Saturday. So I had originally, I already made this video, okay? I made it in two parts because in the middle of the video, my husband called for me and he couldn't hear that I was filming. So I had to stop and like restart. So I'm gonna do my Nightmare Before Christmas collection um, review. So this is the palette, first of all. Like, how cute is this? Oh, I love it. The packaging they won, okay? This is so stunning. And I really, at first, like, I really didn't want to buy it. And my husband bought it for me. Because I was like, oh, I have these colors. You know, I, like, talked myself out of it. And then my husband bought it for me. And I was like, I love it. Thank you. So I'm going to show that. In my last video, I actually forgot I have eyeliner from them from the collection, so we're gonna play with these. I was, I'm was, i kind of scared just because I've never used ColourPop eyeliner and I always use my NYX one, so I'm like, hopefully it works, you know? I, spoiler alert, I've tried this. It's called Master of Fright. I've tried all of these actually, but we'll go through it. Uh, Master of Fright, it's a glitterly, glitter, yeah, glitterly obsessed glitter gel. And this shit sucks, don't buy it. Okay, it like will take off all the makeup you have underneath and like it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Like maybe if you use it by itself and you don't, if you can hear my husband sawing metal in the background, sorry, he's outside and my window is right here. Um, if you wear it just by itself, it's probably beautiful. But I put it on top of my eyelid like I normally do, but I had eyeshadow underneath and it fucked it up. Also look at my nails, sorry, got distracted. but. They have little leaves on them, how pretty. I'm like all over the place, sorry. So don't buy this, but we are gonna use some products today. I have the Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Yeah. Also, they're like half off right, this collection is half off right now because it's Black Friday. So I'm kind of glad that my um, video didn't come out as good so I can do it again, but they're beautiful colors. These are Jelly Shock shadows and these are good. And I will show them to you. This is shock this is beautiful pink that one's really pretty i've used that before i've used all of these i think except for lock which is this one it's a purple i haven't quite used it yet because it's kind of dark it's like a dark purple not that i mind dark colors at all it's just i haven't gotten to it yet and i might do more of a neutral look today because i don't really know what i'm wearing yet because we're gonna go support my best friend at small business saturday they're having a pr He's eating my flowers, sorry. My husband bought me flowers and Pierre has to eat them. Um, so I might use this one, this is Barrel. And it's like, it looks gold now that I'm seeing it here, but it's actually kind of like a dark green. It's like a dark green that shifts to gold, it's really pretty. I also have two lipsticks, I have they have this beautiful packaging. There's actually three of them. There's one that's like a neutral color, but my husband didn't buy me the neutral color, so he bought me the fun ones. This is, what is this called? It's just Jack, Jack Skellington. It's a beautiful red. And like, look at that embossment, isn't that cool? I also went Black Friday shopping, so there's like bags all over my floor. And if you hear bag shuffling, it's the cats playing with them. This is the Sally one, like how freaking cute. And it's this beautiful pink color and you can tell I've used it. The formula is actually really good. It's their cream lipstick. Same embossment, really cool. So I'll show you how they work. Um, I need to put face makeup on, but I'll do my face last so you don't have to sit through the whole video. But I am gonna use my Smashbox Primer Water. This stuff is really good if you haven't used it. It's, you can tell I've used a decent amount of it. It's quite good. I'm just gonna put some concealer on my eyelids so I can get this done. I also have my eyebrow pencil. I wanna make sure this is all of it because I'm pretty sure last time I, I think it was just the eyeliner I missed out on maybe. Anyway. I probably used too much, but it's fine. I'm just gonna dab that on my face. And for those of you that are like, you look like a hot mess. I am a hot mess, but I shower at night because I normally, you know, I work 12 and a half hour days 
And I'm gonna actually do my hair today. My husband's outside working out, so I was like, I should look cute. And I wanted to film, refilm this video because the last one was a disaster. So I have my Born This Way concealer, and I don't normally do my eyes first, but I don't want you to have to sit through the entire thing, so let's just conceal. Gives you a nice base if you're not makeup savvy and it helps keep your makeup on versus like just putting it on your eyelid, I found. And of course there's like eyelid primers, but I find them to be nonsense, most of them. It depends on what you're using it for. Like if you use it for straight up glitter, I feel like it's helpful. But for just like shadow, I don't feel like it does anything special. Put that under too, in my dark eye circles. I slept like 12 hours last night because I had a migraine. So I slept in really late, it was awesome. Let me do my eyebrows real quick. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This stuff's amazing. Like it's hard to look in the mirror and the camera at the same time. And I have pretty thick eyebrows anyway, but I just like to fill them in. Ugh, I've got some strays I gotta pluck. Naturally, I didn't see them until just now. Somehow it's always worse on my left eyebrow than my right. I'm not really sure why. There we go, okay. All right, now we're going to use this beautiful palette. And like I said, I wanna do something kind of neutral because I don't know what colors I'm wearing yet. And I don't know if you could see, I'm wearing my best friend's shirt, Zabana. So go to Zabana Clothing and go check her out. She needs to redo her website, but she's got some cute stuff on there. And she's doing a thing at Small Business Saturday today, so I'm gonna go support that. Anyway, what else do I got? Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna use, oh, I think I'm gonna use Dear Friend. Or I'll mix Meant to Be and Dear Friend. So the one that has a snowflake embossment in it. It's like a cool tone. Maybe I'll just use that. It's like a cool tone brown and it works really nice. Meh. Like it's hard to do this backwards. <laughs> um, but this one's really nice. It's like a cool tone brown. Hi, Pierre. If you're here for cats. Hi, Pierre, Pierre. What are you doing, baby? They can't see me. They can't see me because of the Pierre. He is our baby if you've never seen him. He is, how old are you, three? I think you're three. He's a big old snuggle bug. He loves snuggles. Like when we do um, nap time in this household, which by we, I mean me, my husband doesn't really nap. And see, he's just chilling. Um, he's so cute. Huh, he's my tuxedo boy. He is always the first one there and the last one left when we snuggle for nap time. And when I'm on the couch working from home, he is right there. Hi, Pierre. <laughs> He's just chilling. What are you doing? You just wanted snugs or what? He's like, yes, mom, hold me the entire video because I'm really needy. He's like, is this what having kids is like? That's terrible. Come on, what do you do? What, Pierre, can you figure out your life, please? But yes, this is a really beautiful <laughs> shadow. <laughs> Like, we have six cats, so honestly, I'm surprised this hasn't happened in a previous video. What are you doing? You want to get down? What are you doing? Or are you trying to, like, get across my shoulders? I don't know. These blend really nice, too. Like, right now, it just kind of looks like I got punched in the eye sockets, but I promise you it'll be better. Okay, Pierre. Pierre. Like, look at how cute this cat is. He's so cute. He's got his, like, claws in my shirt. You wanna be right here? You can be in my lap. You just can't, like, no? Okay. Bye, Pierre. <sighs> he doesn't know what he wants. I'm just gonna go back over this real quick. I think he's gonna try to bite the thing that the camera's on, because I'm not giving him enough attention. 
Like he, this is probably TMI, but who cares? He loves toilet time. So if you're on the toilet, he will literally bite your phone if it's in your hand and he will take it out of your hand because he wants you to pet him. So I showed you all of these. This is lock and shock. And I'm not gonna use either of those. I'm gonna use barrel because barrel is like the most, it looks, it's so crazy because it does not look like this in real life. It is not this gold. But anyway, we are going to put that on our lid. And you really don't need anything, you just need a brush. You can use your finger, but I find it applies better with a brush. And you just kind of tap that. Like, look at how pretty that is. Tap, 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 tap. And it's a jelly shadow, so they're... At first I thought, oh, these are gonna be hard to work with, but they're really not, they're super easy. I think you can see here versus in the pan that it's a lot more, like there's definitely gold in it, but it's kind of like a green, green gold, but it's really pretty. Pierre is still right here, by the way, if anyone needs cat time, he's he's just chilling. <laughs> see his ear? Hi Pierre, what are you doing? Like he's the baby, he loves being in trouble. He loves to play. I don't know if you can hear that music or not. My husband's in the backyard bending. Um, and what I found from experience is don't use too much of this because it goops up really easily. And then you have to like peel it off. He's trying to bite the camera. What are you doing, Pierre? I'm like, I can't kick him out, he's so cute. So I have these two from ColourPop. I think they're exactly the same. I don't think that they're, oh. Okay, I didn't know that. So this one is white. I did not know that. So I just put it on my hand and wow, that's beautiful. I didn't know that that was white. The pink one is the black one. Like, oh, let me compare it to my NYX one real quick if Pierre will let me get in the drawer. Pierre, can I get in there, Pierre? Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, they're very similar. I was like, don't mind my dry cracked hands, but the bottom one is the NYX and the other one is ColourPop. I had to like color it in a little bit because the cracks in my hands are so bad because I'm a nurse, so all I do is wash them. But we're definitely going to use that ColourPop one. It's really pretty. But as you can see, it dries really nicely. And like I said, it's kind of like a green with a gold shift, but it's really pretty. We're going to use this pink now or pink, the, you know, embossments pink or whatever, but this is black. And we're gonna do some eyeliner. It could be because it's new versus my um, NYX one, but it's very pokey. Like it kind of hurts my eyeballs a little bit. I haven't used this yet. This is the only product that I haven't tried yet besides this video. So I'll have to see how well it lasts, but so far I don't love it as much as the NYX one. Because the NYX one, it's like, I think this is felt tip. Like they're very similar, but the, the NYX one, it's just a lot smoother and I feel like this one's tugging really hard. So let's see if I can do a wing with it. Plus, I gotta see how long it lasts, but that's one issue. God, I gotta pluck my eyebrows so bad. I'm so sorry that you have to see this. Yeah, I don't like this. This is just is not it for me. It's like really pulling and it's kind of streaky. So let's go back in with my NYX. I wish I could show you what I mean. It just feels like this one bends a little easier, so it's easier to glide versus that. It's like pulling on my eyelid. So this is the NYX one, and it's just so much smoother. I'm like, I wish NYX would just send me a lifetime supply of their eyeliner because it's my favorite thing. I use this so much. Every time they have a sale, I buy like three of them because I know I'm going to go through it. Like I might even have to take it off and try again because this one is like way high and this one's not. 
Yeah, I do not like that. I will not use that again. <laughs> that is a no from me. It's like, I'll have to give that away. I don't like that at all. Like my friend Brie will probably use it because she doesn't care, but. I even have a white one from NYX that I definitely prefer and I'm just taking it off. I'm not doing anything weird, but it definitely stays. Like you can see the top one was the color pop and it'll stay. I just don't like the way it feels on my eyelid and it, my wings are all fucked up now. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Good thing I didn't do my face first. Oh my God, like look at, look, this, no, I don't like it. That's a no from me. Ugh, goodbye. I'm gonna redo that with my NYX one because I prefer that. The eyeshadows, however, are really good. I highly recommend the eyeshadows. Also, let's do the lipstick real quick before I fix my face. I'll do that off camera. But the lipsticks are absolutely beautiful. I wore this pink when we went on date. We went on like a day adventure to Bisbee and like look at how pretty that is. They're very creamy, but they stay in place really well. Like they don't get everywhere. Um, I wore it while eating and it looked fine. And I've never had a cream lipstick do that. And this is the red. Like look at how pretty that is. These I recommend, they're the Cream Luxe lipsticks. And obviously I bought them because they have, or my husband got it for me because of the Jack and Sally, but honestly like these are really good. And there's a nude color too if you want that, but um, I don't think I'm gonna wear a red today. Maybe I will, I don't know. Let's try it. I haven't worn this one yet out. But the bright pink looked great and this is really pretty too. So that's the end of my video. I have to fix my eyeliner now and I'm going to put my face on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Nightmare Before Christmas collection. So obviously I don't have the whole collection. There was like something I knew I wouldn't use. It was like the, um, the gems or something. I'm not gonna use that, but there are a lot of products here that are good. Just avoid the big glitter, the Jack glitter, unless you are gonna use it without a shadow and avoid the eyeliner if you're like me and like a really sharp wing, that is not gonna work. So have a wonderful day.